Hello everybody, and welcome back to Return of Reckoning, Warhammer Online Private Server. We're currently on The Chosen, Harass of the Dead. I've had a request from a subscriber, Martin Marino. I think I said that right, not quite sure. He wanted me to show him the build I'm using on uh, Harass. Um, I'll be quite honest, it is nothing special. It's very, very basic, what I'm using at the moment. Um, we are in the the throes of getting our equipment up, shall I say. As you can see here, uh, we've got the Stalker quests on the go at the moment. I wish I'd done it a few levels earlier, but I've only just really learned about them and where I get the quests from. So, we're getting shot up, fighting fire with fire and strike them, no, strike, no, strike them down. A Servant's Duel and True Insanity. Uh, there for the stalker gear, so hopefully within the next few um, episodes we might be getting the stalker gear. I really do hope so. Uh, let's have a quick look what he is wearing. He's wearing all the stuff that you can buy from the uh, Inevitable City, or which we're in at the moment. We're in the area where you buy them from, which is here. I think that's correct. Yes, it is the south side of Eternal City. These are all the merchants that you can buy all the stuff from. Uh, so there we go, we have the helmet. All the slots have got armor talismans in them. I'm trying to make him pretty tanky. I do like the idea of being able to stand in keeps when defending with other tanks. Using uh, hold the line and putting a tank shield wall up. So that's the object, making him very tanky, more survivability. Yeah, so it's, it's all the basic stuff that we get from here, this area. The only thing he's got that is anything special is the epic, from the epic tier 3 quest, which I did a couple of episodes ago, I do believe, which is very nice. The Shield of Change, uh, his main weapon is one that you get from here, you buy with money. Uh, it requires very little renown, it requires 20 renown, so that's very little. Uh, I still need to upgrade the um, accessories as well. I do believe this quest for that as well, but I think they're level 35 from getting the really good stuff. So we'll have to make do with what we buy from the uh, inevitable city at the moment. Uh, right, is mastery training. We're on the path of corruption which is a path focused on counters and defence. As you can see there, we've got all those, and these are the skills that he's learned on the way up there. Uh, the only other thing we need to do is renown training. It's very hard to show you this, uh, basically because these... I'm using the add-on, which I'll just show you here. Uh, I customise interface, mods, add-ons. Advanced Renown Trainer. Oh, no, no. Anywhere Trainer, that's the one I'm using. There we go. I've got that loaded. Uh, which means I can tr train anywhere, basically. And upgrade these. But even when you go to the, uh, the the vendor that upgrades the Renown abilities, it still doesn't show you what you're using. I've got 22, 22 spent at the moment and available one. I'll tell you what we'll do. I'm going to respec. It's going to cost me, I don't know how much. Has it done it? It doesn't appear to have done. Maybe I have to go to the vendor to do that. Okay, well, I'll try and explain it as best I can then. Uh, I read and was told uh, that if you're going to be doing the tanky side of things, then rather than go for the your standard strength and toughness, it's best to go for things like uh, Def Defender increases block. Uh, Def Defender 1 increases the dodge and disrupt. Uh, also, what, what else did I use? I used something else as well that I didn't used to use. What was it? Some fortitude. I think it was reduced crit. I think I 
remember correctly. There we go. Reduce the chance to receive critical damage by 3%. <coughs> so I also took that, if I remember correctly, as well. Uh, the three main skills that a lot of people use, especially if they're using a DPS, is uh, your, your standard uh, strength one. Let's find that, if we can. Might. There we go. Might increase strength by four. Let's see if we can put a point in there. There we go, let me put a point in. Did it increase the strength? I didn't look at what it was, so I'm not sure. Yeah, so I've been using these uh, these other ones here. See, it only shows that I've got one point in it, but it's ridiculous. I've got 22 points spent. <laughs> okay, so, I mean, you can put it into these others if you want, like uh, Blade Master's Increased Weapon Skill, which is there. Uh, the other one that you might want to use is... Fortitude. Increased toughness, but it's pretty good, I think. I'm not sure what the uh, soft cap is on these. In fact, if anybody knows that, I'd like to know what they are at level 31, what the cap is, and how close I am. Uh, my current defense is 2426, which I can increase using these uh, armor pots. That I get my uh, apothecary to send me. And I think that just about covers it. There's nothing else I can show you, I don't think. Uh, in the area that we're in, uh, if you do say that you're pr pretty new to the game, if you do come to the uh, IC, Inevitable City, and you come to this area, which is directly south of where you actually pour it in, uh, it's around here where you actually come in, you come through the apex all the way down here and you have all your renowned vendors here for your different levels and you also have the vendors for the uh, medallions medallion quartermasters scout I'm currently on soldier level 31 carry more wealth change your goods for gold I don't think I've got anything I can uh, upgrade. No, I haven't. No. Currently on 48 medallions and 37 emblems. But I can't afford these because they, they need 29 renown. And like I said, my renown is way down. I'm currently on rank 31 level, 23 re renown rank. Which I think is pretty pathetic, to be honest. Uh, we've just started doing some um, scenarios which will help and get the renown rank up. Because um, we need to get these kills that we need the kill bright wizards, kill arch mages, engineers, and blazing sun. Uh, if you do want to uh, do scenarios, I will just show you where the other ones are in IC to make it easier for you. Oh, what I will do as well, I'll run through the uh, add-ons before I, I finish the episode, so you can see what add-ons I'm using. It might be helpful. I don't know if you've got a chosen or not, uh, Martin, but uh, I'll point in the right direction, hopefully. And your emblem quartermasters, which is for the um, scenarios are here. Uh, soldiers, let's see. I don't think I can get anything from here. I don't think so. No. No, I still need 28 renown for these, you see, so I need to get it up. And we need 36 just for the uh, lowest shoulders. Oh, well, I've got 37, so I could afford those if you had the right renown. And look at the difference in the armour on those two I'm wearing. That would be quite an upgrade. Okay, so as you can see, he's, he's nothing special at all. But he does alright. I quite like him. Uh, oh yes, add-ons before I go. Let's see those. What well, I'm currently using, anyway, trainer. Auto dismount. Bagomatic buff head. Enemy. 
Uh, everybody guard, why has that failed? Uh, let's take that off a minute. That normally doesn't fail. Guard bot. That's blue white, it's failed. I've got two of them going. Uh, lib, yes, got those on. Lib slash. Map monster, which we need for all this stuff here. That shouldn't be yellow, that should be green. Minimap. Potion bar, pure, and pure templates. And we should have, yeah, there, this is the war board, which is all this information here. And WSDT, which is what I use for the animations for the, uh, the combat. You see them flying off at the side and everything. That is WSCT. Alright, I hope that's been helpful for you, Martin. I thank you very much for watching, and thanks for subscribing, by the way. This is All Grey, signing off.